hello, hello, hello. Good morning. It's Tuesday. It's time for another Copy and Cards Facebook Live. I'm just going to move my camera back a little bit because you can see is a shot full of my face, which is a bit close. So there we go. I'm just going to grab my iPad um, and check that I'm going live in the right spot. Oh, it's a little bit easier than dragging my Mac out. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, I will wait a few minutes and see if anyone hops on to be live with me. Happy International Women's Day. Um, do you know I always forget this date and I should really put it in my diary because I always forget. Where are you, Facebook? I don't very often use my iPad, I have to say. It's a very underused item in my house. I need to use it more. Let me see. Oh, I have no idea. Technology, eh? I'm hoping somebody will join me live. I'm just going to have a look. Oh, Here I, I am. No oh, idea. let's Technology. turn the volume I'm down on that. Join me live. I'm just going to have a look. <laughs> Here I am. Oh, no oh look. <laughs> I was so right about technology, wasn't I? There we are. So I'm obviously live in the right place, although I'm not sure how well good my internet connection is because there's something going on there. So, oh no, I can see myself live. So that's good. I can't see the comments on there for some reason. Good morning, Jen. How are you? Happy International Women's Day to you. All my lovely, lovely Facebook coffee and card friends. Oh, so I hope you're well. I hope you're okay. It's an absolutely stunningly glorious day. The weather is beautiful. It's quite cold. It was zero when I got up this morning and it was about three on the school run. And I, well, it's gonna to get to about 10 degrees, but um, the sun is shining. Morning, Samantha. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad you're here with me and I'm not all alone. Um, so I did have this project planned, um, just a little card that I've been planning to use for a couple of weeks. And then I realized it was International Women's Day and thought I'll do something else again. <laughs> but, you know, we've got to go with the flow and have a bit of fun. You're great, are you, Jen? I'm glad you're on annual leave, Samantha. Fabulous. I hope you're having a nice week off and you're doing nice things. I'm so glad you could join us. Morning, Doreen. Lovely of you to join me as well. So we have a lot of floral stamp sets and I have... Um, I thought it'd be really nice to make a card this morning for somebody who, another woman in my life, who really inspires me. She is incredible. What she does is amazing. So this person is my team leader, Michelle. Um, so shh, don't tell her I'm gonna make her a card. Um, I hope it turns out all right. Um, she is amazing. She, she runs her amazing Stampin' Up! business. She's not long reached a 600,000 CSV, that's the equivalent in money, kind of, uh, to date uh, sales milestone with Stampin' Up. And um, she is the most selfless, encouraging, inspirational woman. Um, she's one of those people who cheers you on. Do you know what I mean? Where, you know, she'll always lift your crown. And I think that's what we should all be doing for each other. And there's a lot of women out there in the world who are suffering and going through an awful lot right now. But I just thought uh, I would have a have a Facebook Live that was not related to the news, but a bit of fun, a bit lighthearted. So that's what it's all about today. So I had a look online. Oh, let's have a look. Samantha it says, your eldest son's graduation ceremony tomorrow, only two years late. So you're looking forward to that and doing some crafting. That's amazing, Sam. Um, yeah, my daughter's is later this year and uh, she graduated last year. So mm, I know they all suffered a bit during the pandemic and lost out a bit. So hopefully, hopefully you'll have a lovely day tomorrow. Take lots of photographs. So I went online this morning and I thought, I've got so many floral stamp sets. I can make a beautiful card. I've got a technique I like to share with you. And let's have a look what some of these flowers mean for International Women's Day. So I was looking up and I found that the cone flower is um, a symbol of strength and courage. Who knew? So perfect because we've got the cone flower in the Nature's Harvest stamp set. So I'm going to start off with that one. And then I've got another card using the daffodils, um, which are apparently honesty and courage. No, honesty and truthfulness, something like that. Honesty, definitely. Yeah, because this was strength and courage. So, okay. So let's go for that. So 
I'm going to use the cone flower and I'm using some really bright colours today. So I hope you're up for it. I hope you're up for it. So shall we jump straight in? Morning Kay. We'll jump straight in because I've got a bit of a fun technique to show you. I've done this before. Um, I haven't done it for a very long time. Who did I see? I saw somebody doing it on a on a video the other day and I thought, do you know, I haven't done that in forever. I need to have a go again at that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Right. It does involve a tiny little bit of heat embossing, but nothing else complicated. I'm going to turn the camera around and I hope you'll all stick with me. This is always the awkward clunky part. So let's take you out. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Just going to turn you around. It'll all go a bit dark for a moment. Do excuse that. Yeah, so copying class today is all about being a little bit lighthearted. Even on International Women's Day, we all need um, an escape from the news just for an hour. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to pop the morning K. I'm going to pop that in there. Let's have that on there. I'm going to bring it over a bit. Let's put my glasses on. Morning, Helen. How are you? Might bring it down a bit more. How's that? There we go. There we are. So you can see I've got my cone flower stamp out ready. I think, I don't know how straight that is. It always it looks straight to me. And then I look through the the, the actual uh, camera and it's not. Okay, let's go for that. Tell me if it gets weird and wonky, won't you? <laughs> I'm going to tape down my grid paper with some washi tape to stop it shifting about on my... I've got a very smooth table and it shifts around quite a lot. There we go. Let's just do that. I like having my grid paper there. Okay. So I've picked out the cone flower from the Nature's Harvest stamp set. You might have realised it's one of my favourites from the annual catalogue. And I've picked out some really bright colours. Now I looked up cone flowers and I've done lots of colouring in with them before in all different yellows and oranges. But you know you can get some really bright pink cone flowers. So I thought we'd go with this. Oh my goodness. Magenta madness. It's a bit mad, isn't it? But I love it. And we're going to tone it down with the crumb cake on the top. So let's have a look where this sits in our colour families for stamping up. So yes, it sits here in the 2020 to 2022 in colour family. So we have five of those. We get five new ones every year. They last for two years and they rotate out. These ones are going out and they'll probably start selling out uh, this month, next month, because they'll retire with a new annual catalogue that's coming. Um, and they sell out really quickly because people don't want to lose out because once they're gone, you can't get them. So just to let you know, this lovely one that we're using today will be on its way out soon, as will these. But that's 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 where it's from. And uh, yeah, it's a great colour, isn't it? It's kind of, oh. But I so I have put some soft succulent in there and some crumb cake and that just dilutes it all down a little bit and I've used my normal card base size which is an A4 card cut in half and scored in half and I've just done it as a tent fold. Oh no you're on day two of positive for Covid are you Jo? I'm so sorry it got you in the end and that you're feeling a bit rubbish. You will start to feel better soon. I'm so sorry. Bless your heart. If there's anything you need you just shout you know i'm not at work and you know i'm just around the corner i'm here so i can bring you anything you need just shout please okay right so we've got our card base we've got our green and we've got our crumb cake and then i've got one for the inside so i'll put all the measurements when i do the blog post so that you don't have to remember them or write them down Okay, so this is the important bit. I'm going to be stamping on a piece of coloured cardstock and I'm going to be colouring in on it. So it's slightly different. So I'm going to be doing it not on white. So I'm going to emboss it. So let's have a scrappy piece of paper. Let's decide where the cone flower is going to go. I think I'm going to bring it over. Oh, hi, Jen. I think I'm going to bring it over here a little bit. To I like sometimes my card to kind of read from left to right as if you're reading a book because your eye is naturally trained to do that so i'm going to bring it down this this kind of bottom right part of the 
the panel. Right, now I need some Versamark. Versamark is clear embossing ink. Um, it's great for making a watermark, but it's also used for embossing using embossing powder. So I'm going to use white embossing powder. Now I did wonder about this stamp and the technique I'm going to use, if it would work. So I did try it out and it does work. And the reason I wondered whether it would work is because it's such a very detailed stamp where the petals are, that once you've heat embossed the, it in white, it doesn't leave a lot of room for colouring, if that makes sense. We're here for you, Joe. The lovely Helen's on the call. That's my sister. She's on the on uh, watching too. She is just about on day ten, I believe. It's all going on, isn't it? So you can just about see that watermark, but it's it it's kind of sticky. Not really sticky, but the powder will stick to it. So if I put the white embossing powder all over where I've stamped. It'll stick to it like that and leave this beautiful cone flower image. Okay. And that's the most complicated part of it. I'm going to heat, heat it with my heat gun. So it'll be a little bit noisy. Hello, Shaz. Lovely of you to join us this morning. Yeah, lots of rest, paracetamol, lots of fluids. So I'm heating up and then it will change and become like glossy and solid. Just takes a second. Okay, right, there we go. So, oh, it's a bit sticky. I'm going to let that dry for a minute. It's not wet, but just let it dry just for a moment or two. Otherwise, it, it is slightly tacky. Now, we're going to use a technique using our white stamping ink. Um, this is the refill for our white, uh, our white uh, ink pad, our white craft ink. It's a pigment ink, so it's slightly different to the rest of our refills. It's very thick, um, but it refills our white ink pad, and I'm just going to be using this. You could also just use your white ink pad if you just had that, but you, if you're buying it from Stampin' Up, they come together, so you'll have this. And what I've done... Morning, Philomena! Lovely of you to join us. I'm so glad. I've put a few drops of it onto one of my little white blocks. My blocks all got my initials on because I took them to an, I take them to events and classes and all that kind of stuff. Okay, and the other tool I'm using today are these lovely things that I love and don't use them often enough. The blender pens, and they come in a pack of three, and I'll show you what they are. So they are pens like this, and they're double ended. Both ends are exactly the same, you just get two ends. And they have a fluid inside, and I'm not sure quite what's in it. It's like a, almost like a glycerin type fluid. It's clear, if you can see on there. It's clear. Oh, I'm not cutting this out. I didn't mean to do that. But you can see it's clear. Um, but you can use it to pick up colour. So you can use it with your reinkers. You can use it with your ink pads. You take colour off your ink pads and colour in with them. They're absolutely amazing for the watercolour pencils because you don't need a paintbrush and you don't need water because it's just in here. So it's a brilliant little tool and I'm going to be using it with this and some of my coloured inks. Okay, so I think that's probably dry enough. Yeah, it's perfectly dry and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So the, they, they are clear like this, but they do stain when you use colours with them. But there is no colour left on the end of it, as you can see. It's just a stain, so do not worry. All right, so I'm going to just pick up some of my white craft ink. Has anyone done this before? Do tell me. I am going to colour in my image white. 
Crumb Cake Magenta Madness and which other cardstock? Oh, this one is, uh, I put soft succulent in there. You could probably put any green you like in there, Joe. So nice if you can craft along. And I'm going to do two cards, um, similar techniques. So there's plenty of time. And I'm going to colour in all of the open areas. In fact, I'm going to colour it all in just with the white. And so the fluid kind of comes out of the blender pen and moves the white ink around just like having a felt tip pen, but you can change it any colour you like almost. Bear in mind that the coloured cardstock you're using is not watercolour paper. So don't overwork it because it will pill, you know, start to tear up those fibres. But I haven't really had that problem yet, so I don't think it's too risky. So colour it all in. It's because you're creating a nice white layer to put some colour down on. Which theoretically means that you could colour straight onto any colour cardstock and have the colours show out without having to do it onto white. Does that make sense? Now I've tried it on yellow, I've tried it on pink, I've tried it on crumb cake. I haven't tried it on a very dark colour yet. Maybe one of you might. Okay, so make sure it's all coloured in like so okay good morning margaret okay so you can clean your pen on your piece of scrap paper i'm going to go back in with some more white anyway i'm just going to let it dry a second <sighs> maybe blow on it <laughs> give it a waft normally i just let it dry for a few minutes but we're in a bit of a hurry because i don't want you sitting watching paint dry literally <laughs> So there we go. Okay, I'm going to put some more on. So you can put as much white ink on as you like and make it as um, opaque or as transparent as you want. Like this. Just build it up a little bit. It's really quite therapeutic and quite fun. If you like colouring in, you'll know what I mean. If that's your bag. Now, the reason I've embossed it is because I'm using this pen. If I just stamped it in white and then coloured it in in white, you would just literally be moving all the ink around and you wouldn't have any definition there and it would all get muddied up, I think. Same as if you stamped it in black because you've got all this fluid moving around. hope that makes sense. Embossing creates a really good base. Right, I think we're good. We're good to go. There we go. Oh, thank you, Margaret. Yeah, definitely have a watch from the beginning afterwards and you can see exactly what we're doing. All I've done is I've taken the um, Nature's Harvest stamp, the cone flower, and I've stamped it and embossed it in white with white embossing powder. Then I've taken some of the white craft ink and I've picked it up on my blender pen, one of these, and filled it in. So far, that's where we're at. And I looked it up online and it said that the um, cone flower is a symbol of courage and strength, which I thought was great for International Women's Day. Okay, so I have cleaned that, as you might have seen me. I was just cleaning it on my chamois, but you can put it on a piece of paper or kitchen towel. This is where the fun, fun bit starts, okay? So I'm gonna grab the very bright color, magenta madness. Now you can use, you can squish your, I'll show you a trick. You can, oh, thank you, Philomena. You can squish this together. If you push it really hard, you'll get a blob of ink on the lid of your uh, ink pad and you can use it as a paint palette, okay? If you Excuse me, if you don't like that and think it's messy, I like to clean mine with a wipe afterwards. 
you can just take one of your little acrylic blocks, pop it on there and you have a palette and that can easily just be washed off. So we'll use that. But then with the other ones, I think I'll just use the lids because it doesn't bother me that it's on there. Okay, how's that dried? Pretty much. So this is the fun bit. I'm going to pick up. Oh, I think I use the other end. Doesn't matter which end. I'm going to pick up some of that colour. I don't want it too bright, so take some of it off. And then I'm going to go over it like this. So now you can see... I've got a lovely, beautiful pink colour showing out of the crumb cake cardstock. It's very painted pink straight onto crumb cake. I think you would see that it would just be a dull, mm, kind of wishy-washy, muddy, browny pink colour. It wouldn't have stood out. So you've created a nice little background for your ink. And whilst you're working in your pink, you'll be picking up some of that white pigment that you've had. And it makes a much more muted tone, which is beautiful. You can add in a bit more, wherever you want it to be, like so. And you can let it dry and you can come back and add a bit more. So you just do all the bits. So you can use this technique with any stamp you want. You could definitely make gift packaging and stamp pretty things and emboss and do this. You could do floral images on your scrapbook papers. You could do anything you like with it. It's just a fun technique to do. Morning, Zaina. So just add some in here, like so. And you can keep moving it around and adding more wherever you want it to look more pink. But I really like that it picks up that white pigment ink that you've already put down and it kind of makes it that really pretty colour. Love that. Okay, so that's that could be could do, take all day so many possibilities it's really pretty you're right Helen I love this so I've done that one um and I've cleaned off my pen so whilst it's a bit stained pink it's fine right and then I have got to use where's my green I've got a feeling my door is just gone um and there's nobody to answer it just give me a second I do apologize Okay, sorry about that guys. We are having our bathroom done and the plumber got locked out, which is no good, is it? Doesn't want that. Okay, so you can see I've been using the lid of this soft succulent ink pad just now when I was trying out this one. And I'm gonna carry on using it like that and I'll move that one before I stick my hand in the magenta madness one. Right, I'm gonna use this for my stems and my leaves. It's so simple. Okay, and I'm just gonna come down like so fill it in however you want it to look so light or dark can you see that <laughs> you can have so much fun with this technique There we go. So you can see what I mean. When I was thinking about would this technique work with this stamp because there's so much detail in it, there's not a lot of room where there's no embossed parts, but it still kind of works quite well. And it'll be interesting to see when it's very dry, if I polish over the top with a, with a piece of tissue or something, how much ink is still left there. 
but I think there'll be lots. So here we go. So you can, I just got green ink on me. So you can build up your, your color like this. Let's have a bit more on this leaf. like that very nice i really like this and you can go on and on and put on as much or as little as you want so i'm just going to clean my pen or my chamois which you just have shot um, and i'll give those a clean later but i thought right okay i need this to pop a little bit and this is very white on the top so i brought in this very orange <laughs> mango melody oops <clears throat> excuse me and you can see I've been doing the same here because I made one before we came live because I wanted to make sure it would work now this is a fun way to do it let's get rid of that pink there's still a bit left on there right okay now interestingly I found when you first put it on that is very bright see what I mean but the more you work it round, it kind of takes it off again And it just gives it, so you can use whichever yellow or orange you've got. Oh, did I sell you the mini stamping up machine last week, Sam? I know the blender pens. Oh, bless you. I'm glad to enable you. <laughs> that's, that's my point. <laughs> to be honest though, when you're um, a demo um, and you get your discount, because um, the st mini stamping up, Cut and emboss machine has 20% off at the minute. So, and then you add on your demonstrator discount. It's a no brainer, isn't it? It's amazing. Yeah. And these blender pens are brilliant for loads of uses. Loads of uses. Right. Okay. So this is what I've got. And I really like it. And I'll show you my practice one. It's very similar. Yeah. So you can add it. I think I added in a little bit more pink on this one, but they're very similar. So that's that. Let's put it together. That was as far as my brain had gone with this card, but I do have a sentiment I'm going to put on it. So I think it looks great with those colours. I hope you agree. So I picked out a different... Now, we've got these beautiful uh, sentiments in this lovely font, but International Women's Day, I get, I've been very inspired, and I want to send this card, so I have put... I'm going to put your amazing from the Ornate Thanks stamp set, which is brilliant because it's got all of these amazing uh, sentiments in this lovely curly font. Just wanted to say you're amazing. Oh, that's what I should put. I just wanted to say. So I've got your amazing. So you can see how loved it is, how much I've loved this stamp set. I hope it carries over. No idea to the new catalogue. Right, okay. I'll take that one off rather than reaching over for another block right out of reach. Right, let's grab some white. I think these are way too skinny. These are the bits I had when I cut down my uh, insert and my pieces of card, the bits that I chopped off the end. They're very often great for sentiments. They're very skinny though. But I think it's going to fit. Now, what colour am I going to use? Am I going to use Just Jade? It's not Just Jade. Am I going to use Soft Succulent or Magenta Madness? I don't know. I think I'm going to go for the bright pink. <laughs> You'll add them to your next order, which is due to be delivered at the end of the week. Yeah, you had some great savings. I had an order delivered yesterday. So those of you that ordered with me at my class last week the end of the week before last it's arrived it's all arrived so i just need to get it all out to you guys right most people order online i just had a couple of people who ordered at class okay just wanted to say let's try it in the magenta we don't have to use it we can try oh we probably won't use it no we won't look look i made a lovely mess but let's see what that looks like. Um, I might try it in the green and see. And then if I like the pink, I'll restart it. Because I made a mess. Right, where's the rest of those bits of 
white scrap and stuff, yeah. That's even smaller. I don't think it'll fit on there. Let's have this piece, it's nice and big. Okay. Let's give it a clean. We don't want pink in the green, do we? Oh, you say Jamenta? Jamenta <laughs> Madness. You say Magenta too, Philomena. I think you might be right. I'm just going to do it in the soft succulent. See what it looks like. I think it might be a bit dull in that. Just wanted to say... Yeah, I think the pink is the way to go because it just kind of gets lost. Pink it is. Pink to make us wink. Okay, so soft succulent we're going for. Let's put the magenta madness out of the way. It's had its day today. I know, that's what we're going to use. What am I doing? Oh, it's not what I want. We wanted the pink. We wanted the pink, didn't we? That's not a straight piece of cardstock. Isn't it weird how you see that? Right, let's do that that way. How weird. <laughs> Good morning, Claire. We're having fun this morning. Happy International Women's Day. Oh yes, that's better. Just wanted to say. Right, I'm gonna bring my trimmer in. All I'm gonna do is cut it out. I'm not doing anything fancy. No fancy dies today. I'll take it a bit skinnier, a little bit. It's difficult with cutting any more off the bottom because you have this lovely curl down from the J and I don't want to cut that off, but it just feels slightly wrong. I'm not sure why. I think it's not straight. It wasn't. There we are. Just wanted to say, and I think what I'm going to do is take a little punch. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I have the tailored tab punch. Here it is. And I have a little trick I use this for. So it's this punch, and I like to use it to cut my banner ends like that. Does that make sense? So I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to make sure it's kind of even. Bit of luck. Give it a chop. Just wanted to say. I'll just chop that end off as well. There we go. I'm going to pop that on there. Right, let's bring it over. Okay, I got brought out the little mini dimensionals. No, I didn't. I've got the big ones. That's no good. You can't reach. <laughs> Little mini ones are just so useful. You don't have to cut anything up. They're no more expensive than the big ones. So good. So magenta. 
retiring. And I thought when I was looking for the cardstock this morning on the shelf, I thought, oh yeah, well, I'll, I'll use the magenta. And that's fine. I've got tons of it. Um, no, this was my last sheet. <laughs> so it just goes to show I've actually used this colour a lot more than I thought I would. Just wanted to say snail. I'm going to use my snail, my favourite glue of choice at the moment. Do you go through phases? Do tell me with your glue, which is your favourite? Are you a liquid glue person? Are you a tape runner like the seal person? Are you a double-sided sticky tape that kind of person? <sighs> I am all over my seal at the minute. Oops. A bit on the edge because I don't want it coming apart. Now this is going to a very special lady. I hope she likes it. It's a very simple card. Right, let me see. I've got some embellishments. Over. <laughs> They're just there, but I have to step over the dog who's asleep. <laughs> Double sided tape for you, Philomena. Yeah, that's really useful. Uh, those are soft succulent, but I'm not sure that's what I want. I've got the faux sea glass shapes. I've got some of the butterflies. I hadn't thought of that. Ooh. Some of the matte dots, holiday rhinestones. These are great. These were part of the garden gems and they're beautiful as well. Um, I was looking to see if I had any of the in colour ones left, but I think that's magenta of this year's, which has polished pink on it. it that's all I've got left. So that's shameful. I should get some more, but I think they're a bit blingy, a bit bright. I've got the brass ones. Okay, let's move that out of the way. I think I'm going to go for the brushed brass butterflies. Try saying that. <laughs> Try saying that when you've had a glass of wine. My putty end popped off my take your pick tool. <laughs> Yeah, try saying brushed brass. Br <laughs> I can't say it now, honestly. Brushed a brass of butterflies. So I think I'm going to go for some of these cute little ones. Just to give it something a little bit special. Ooh. that way and then and then here there we go so let's move that out of the way we don't need that okay so the inside I need to put what I wanted to say because I said I've put I just wanted to say and what I wanted to say was you're amazing um, because this person's very amazing I think there's a little pink ink on that one. So, one thing I do need to do, grab my, oh, I did it, I got it out already. I got it out, see, I was more organized than I thought, is grab my early espresso ink because I want to stamp a little bit of that cone flower on the bottom of the inside because it's very pretty. Um, and I could do it in black, but black is just a, such a very harsh colour when you're not colouring it in, I think. So I'm going to go for early espresso, which is so, such a dark, dark brown, but it's softer than black. So just slightly off the side, on the inside, let it like that. Pop that away out of the way. Oh, that's not very sharp, is it? I'm going to do that again. Maybe it's my eyesight. 
I'm not sure. Did I move it? Might be my eyesight. One more time. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, it's not my eyesight. That is very blurry and that is not. <laughs> oh. So I'm bringing back in the magenta madness because I feel that I need to, to tie it all together. Um, and we're gonna try your amazing and I'm just gonna stamp it here to make sure it stamps well. Because the last thing I want to do is mess it up. You're amazing. Okay, that goes inside. Let's get the, the seal. Oh, I think I've finished my seal. I've got a refill, but oh yeah, look, I've completely finished it. There's no point in me trying to get my refill out now in the drawer and sticking it together. So let's just go with the Tombow, just a little bit. too much. Here we go, you're amazing. I love that colour. I think diluted down like that, it's just so lovely. So that's our first card. And I don't know what technique we call this using the craft ink to paint on coloured cardstock. Um, if you know what this technique here is called, do tell me. I have no idea. I just call it painting on with craft ink, but I don't know. So that was my sample that I tried. This is the card we made. I hope you like it. I'm going to have another go now with another one with a different stamp. So this is going to be sent to my lovely, lovely team leader who inspires me all the time for International Women's Day. Okay, but I thought we'd try with the daffodils. Now, <coughs> do excuse me, <coughs> I've got a frog in my throat. I picked out some thick basic white and made a card base in the same way. <coughs> That's better. Then I've gone down by uh, uh, half a centimetre and I've got some daffodil delight. And I've gone down by half a centimetre again and I've got some petal pink. Okay. I'm going to do the same kind of thing in the pink. And I have picked out this beautiful stamp set. This is the Daffodil Daydream. And I've used this uh, quite a bit recently. You might have seen me using it. Thanks, Shaz. Thanks, Philomena. That's very kind. Um, you might have seen me using this um, on a few cards recently. I made some, was it last week? I did copying cards and I used the dyes instead. And I did a bit of watercolouring on and then cut cut it out and I think a couple of weeks ago I made a Mother's Day card just using the stamps. We're just going to use the stamps today and I'm going to use this lovely big one here. You could use all of them, one of them, whatever you fancy. And I'm going to do the same technique as I did before with my bursum up and my white embossing. Is there a black ink on there? There is. That's not good, is it? Let's grab out my chamois. I can see there's black ink on there. Maybe it's my imagining. Oh no, there is definitely ink on there. How is that? Oh, it makes a bit of a squeaky noise, doesn't it? If you don't have a chamois, you need a chamois. They are the best things. You just don't have to mind how dirty it looks because even once you've used it a few times, all the ink that comes off the stamp goes into the chamois, leaving your stamp beautifully clean. Um, but your, obviously your chamois has got all the ink on it, but even if you wash it, the stains don't come out. And that's fine, that's the purpose of it. But you've got, got to not mind your funny colour chamois. <laughs> okay, so we are going to stamp our daffodils there in about the same place as we did before. Did I just move that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but we'll soon know when we put the embossing powder on it. So. I put my white embossing powder in a tub. This is just an old um, takeaway tub. It just holds it in place so that, and the cat hair, we don't want that. <laughs> so that it's uh, a lot easier to use. And I've got a spoon. 
and it just keeps it all ready, ready to go. Oh, look at that. That is so beautiful. I think that's great as it is. Just keep it separate from my coloured embossing powder so it doesn't get contaminated in grey. Okay, we're going to heat it now. And we're going to see it change colour. And then we're going to colour it in the same way. And you're going to see how you can colour straight onto pink cardstock. And have some beautiful colours. So just heat up that. I need a new uh, heat it tool. So the Stampin' Up! one is amazing. So that'll be my next thing. This was a gift, this one. All right, okay. Here we go. So I'm gonna do the same technique as we did before. So add a few drops of your Stampin' Up! Whisper White Craft Ink. You can take it from your ink pad or from your reinker. You can use a blend pen, blender pen even. And we are gonna fill in, when that's dry, fill it in. Good morning, Karen, how are you? Nice of you to join us this morning. Having great fun with a very fun colouring technique for International Women's Day. So I'm just picking up some of that ink. Just make sure I've got no pink left on there now. Okay, and I'm going to colour in my... my petals. So we've got a bit more of a wide area to colour in than we did for the cone flower in the other stamp. But it's exactly the same technique. And this means you can make any colour daffodil straight onto pink card. It's a bit of the trumpet. Well, there's daffodils everywhere here at the moment. It's daffodil season in the UK. They're still in the shops. I got a beautiful little bunch for a pound <laughs> yesterday. Is it yesterday? I took um, my son up to the shops after school because we needed to pick up some revision guides. I popped into Marks and Spencer's shop for some milk because it, it was just more convenient than going to the supermarket. A bit lazy, but there you are. And they had some gorgeous daffodils and they've got kind of orange trumpets on them. Yellow petals, outer petals and then orange inner ones. So they're all curled up but now they've come out. You can see that the inside's all orange and they're so, so pretty. Yeah. And they're everywhere on the, on the uh, you know, when you're driving around on the middle of roundabouts and places and verges. Really means that spring's on its way, I think. Mother's Day for us in the UK on the 27th of March. We have it different to uh, some of the rest of the world because ours is Mothering Sunday rather than Mother's Day. Here we go. So we're nearly there. And you can just make it as white as you need it to be. So you can see that that's coming out really well. And then you can go back in and add a little bit more if you want to make it really opaque. Like that. And you know, I've used hardly any ink. It goes on forever. make it white enough to take the colour. Oh, I haven't done that bit at all. Look. You weren't shouting at me. <laughs> you missed a bit, Kate. <laughs> if you see any I've missed, do tell me. What about this bit? Yeah, I think we've got it all. 
by golly. There, I think that'll do. Otherwise we could be here and it'll take all day. But you know, you can take a bit longer. Do it however you like. I'm just gonna let it dry for a second. I'm just wiping my pen off on my chamois. I'll show you, I'm just wiping some of that white off. Like that, not that it really matters. Right, okay, so the colours I'm going to use, I picked out for this one, are Mango Melody, Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, and Pear Pizzazz. So a lot of different colours. Um, you can use whatever you like. So I think I'm going to go for Mango Melody in the centres. So I've done the same as I did before and I've used the lid of my ink pad as a palette but if you don't like doing that do take one of your mini um, acrylic blocks dab it into your ink pad and use it as a paint palette so I'm just going to clean that one before I stick my hand in it because we use that one for the magenta so maybe out of the way okay so let's bring in some of that uh, that uh, mango melody Okay, and I'm gonna bring it in the center a little bit. Like so. Like that. As you can see, it kind of picks up some of that white. And so you can kind of made it shaded. You can have some parts that are more orange than others. I'm going to bring it just down there, down there. There we go, a little bit here, but I might put a bit of our pumpkin pie in there actually. So that's all I need for the mango. But honestly, one colour, you could just do it with one colour and it would be beautiful. You don't need to do all the colours, but I just like it. Right, let's have a bit of this orange and see what this orange looks like. Just at the base of the leaves, I think it might be a bit more deeper colour. Not leaves, petals. Like so. Clean off your blender brush, blender pen between every colour. And then I'm going in with Daffodil Delight. So you get the idea. You're just literally colouring in your image to however you want it to look. Sorry about the drilling. I know you can hear that because I can hear it. Um, but I really I don't have any control over that. That's our bathroom being replaced. And just blend it together. Be careful not to overwork the paper. It isn't watercolour paper. It's just cardstock. Just fill in the yellow. It really lightens and brightens it up. Then I'll go through my ink pads and give them a good clean when I've finished. So there we have it. So you've managed to, I've managed to colour yellow onto pink. Quite successfully, I think. Give that one a clean. And then I used Peppers as quite a nice kind of like a uh, pale green. It's not that pale, but it's not like a garden green or the old olive. It's kind of a more a muted. And I'm going to use that for my stems. Just 
it kind of helps the white ink behind it kind of helps move the the green around so you have this really soft blending this makes it really easy to do And it also helps, the, the white embossing helps keep it inside the lines. So if you have a problem with colouring, I don't know, do anybody have a problem colouring and worrying about it going outside the lines? If you emboss and then you do a little bit of this or any kind of colouring with like watercolours or your uh, watercolour pencils or any of that, you can, it'll keep it, it'll kind of contain it inside the lines. It's got a little ridge to it. So everyone thinks you're a super artist. <laughs> when it's really easy. Right, any bits that I've missed? A couple here, here. Yeah. So, truthfulness and honesty, um, apparently said on the internet, daffodils are symbolic for truthfulness and honesty. Perfect. There we go. Would make a gorgeous Easter card. You're absolutely right, Philomena. I agree with you. So there we are. I'm going to pop this together. And if you put it with that yellow, doesn't it just make it pop and bring the yellow out? I think it looks really nice. I really like that. Oh, I'm easily pleased. I honestly am. It doesn't take much. I don't know where the lid to my pen is. I'll find it in a second. It's in my mess. Right, a bit of glue. I don't need to make an insert this time because my inside of my card is white. Thank you, Margaret. It's one of my favorite flowers, daffodils. So I knew that when I saw it in the catalog, this was gonna be an absolute favorite. Just had to wait for spring to rear its head to get it out. <laughs> there we go. But really, you don't have to, do you? Don't have to wait. Okay. Yeah, so anyone know what this technique is called? Embossing and then colouring with craft ink. Colouring with craft ink? Colouring on coloured cardstock with craft ink. Thank you, Margaret. That's very kind of you. I've got two Margarets on the call. On the live today that's brilliant okay so there's our card and i just need to put a sentiment on there and one on the inside it would make a beautiful easter card but i think i'm going to go for um my theme of the day which is now there is a stamp set and i have got one and i can i find it it says thank you for inspiring me and i can't find it i don't know what stamp it is in <laughs> well, I've had a good look and I can't find it. So, just wanted to say, but what did I do with it? Here it is. Here it is. Let's grab it. Oh, I'm making a noise. I've got rather a pink chamois now, haven't I? After all that magenta madness. is happening so this is what I mean about your chamois once you've washed, once you've used it quite a few times it becomes this like melee of stained goodness even if you put it through the washing machine so do not worry about it it works perfectly well 
Okay, we need a piece of card. So I think this one looks perfect. Just wanted to say, and I think we're going to have to do it in the pear pizzazz, aren't we? Because I think the yellow will get lost. It's be too much yellow going on. I think the pink would be a bit pale. Let's go for pear pizzazz and see what that looks like. Just want to, oh, I've done it again. I like moved it, I was rocking it, wasn't I? Could you see me doing it? Just want to say that's better. And then we're nearly done. So. I will do the same here. I will just leave a little end. Oh, I just hit the camera. I'm so sorry. <gasps> I just hit you with my with my camera. Now that might be a bit big. Let's make it a little bit skinnier. Portions are a bit heavy. Then it's got to be lunchtime soon, hasn't it? Does anyone know what the time is? Oh, I'm a little bit over time. I better get a move on. I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done, although I could craft all day. Just wanted to say, right, I'm going to bring in that tag punch again. The tailored tag punch is super useful as a punch for labelling and for cutting out all sorts of DSP and making mosaics and all sorts. And I like it for this. <laughs> so I like it to make a tail. I know you can do it yourself quite easily, but why? If I've got it. And it makes it even every time. Just wanted to say, I just called to say. Right, I just wanted to say, and then there's my mini dimensionals. Here they are. Put some of those on. <laughs> I've got a back, a back stuck to the front. I think I might have to take the dog out for a walk after lunch. Well, what is everyone else doing today? Tell me what you're all up to. Just wanted to say... And then, you're amazing. Breakfast, then laundry. Yeah, I've got laundry day tomorrow. Yeah. Laundry is a big thing, isn't it? <laughs> but it's got to be done. You're going to, to feed the lambs. Oh my goodness. How many lambs have you got, Shaz? Going to, have to feed the lambs. Oh my goodness. How lovely. And then you're going to take your dogs out. That's so nice. Right, you're amazing. I'm going to pop, you're amazing. And I'm doing it in, I believe I'm doing it in Daffodil Delight. I hope that's the colour <laughs> I chose. Oh, kind of. Kind of okay, kind of okay. I think that's okay. I think we can live with a, with a little bit of off stamping. You're amazing. It's not bad. Okay. So I'm gonna put some. I might put a little daffodil down here as well. 
And I'm going to put some of those um, butterflies on here and finish the card off. Uh, one more. This way here. And I might come back when I'm off camera and pop some linen thread, a little linen thread bow on there. I think it would look beautiful. So um, I might come back, but I have to find my linen thread. So I'll come back and do that. And then I'll post the pictures up um, on my Facebook page. And obviously the um, this will go up on youtube as well so the beautiful flower cards for international women's day very simple once you've embossed the rest is very simple now i'll show you i practiced before i did it um i did it on a piece of petal pink not petal pink this is petal pink um blah, 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 blushing bride cardstock to show you or to show me the difference if i embossed it in black and then I, so if I bought, embossed the flower image in black and then I coloured it in the same as I have now, it's completely different. Um, can you see the difference? Look how different that is. This is embossed. Um, but it's very different, isn't it? Um, and then there's the, there's the one that I've just done. And I was like, no, definitely white embossing. Um, and then there's the single one, came out in the same way, really. So yeah, that's embossed, but it just, even though it's not taking up the colour, it kind of muddies it. It's not so bright and vibrant as the embossing in the white. So there you go. There's our cards for International Women's Day that I'm going to send out. And um, I use the Daffodil Daydream stamp set, which you can get in my online shop. And you can get it with the dies and I also as a bundle if you buy things as a bundle you get 10% off by the way um the nature's harvest stamp set that's also a bundle and you can cut it out too with the dies yes it is emb embossed better in white isn't it I agree with you it's completely different oh anyway thank you ladies for for joining me live um for a, a bit of a long one but a fun one I've really enjoyed it thank you so much Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, everybody. And yeah, if you join me live, thank you so very much. If you're joining me from the future and you're watching on replay, do um yeah, do do tell me you're watching from the future, whether you liked it or not. If you're watching me on YouTube, thank you very much. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe because that helps me so very much indeed. Um, yeah, I'll put links to my online shop in the description box below and all that kind of information so you can grab these things if you want them. The, the words are from the Ornate Thanks stamp set. So these have, these, both these stamp sets have got gorgeous sentiments. But for today, I just wanted to say you're amazing. So I use the Ornate Thanks and we have got so many different things on here. But I put just wanted to say you're amazing so many this is a very well loved stamp set <laughs> so many and that's in my shop too thank you lovelies and i will see you next week thank you so much for joining me live happy crafting i hope you feel better soon joe and yeah get out in that sunshine guys i'm gonna try and do that today take care thank you bye bye